Good morning and welcome to another episode of DDO Wiki Talk with your host Technical Thirteen. Um, do some, hopefully, do some giveaways today at ten, twenty-five, forty, and fifty chatters. things sorted out, getting the hosts all going. All right, let's bring up the giveaway sheet here. We're going to do multiple prizes. Um, the first one is going to be um, we'll just we'll just call it multiple prizes. And the first tier is for hitting um, 10 attendees. We'll set it for that. Um, we've got Darius this morning. We've got four hand one. We've got odd, and we've got. Blood Dagger, 25, and we've got Goal, 25, with no D, I, gotta, I still have to fix that, Goal Largo, who else is out there in chat this morning? Say this as episode 90. Save, which you guys can't see anymore because of a change to XSplit, which is okay by me. Reminder notice, let's turn the sound off for that. Beat. Excellent. Anybody else in chat this morning? If not, let's pop into the wiki. There we go. There is DDO Wiki. Oh, so shrinking that won't make it go away? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Got some chat going. Post that to both channels. I am available on Discord. If you want to chat with me, I am in the DDO stream Discord channel. And you can pop in there and join the um, live stream voice channel and chat. We also have a DDO wiki Discord server that you can get. Check out. And that one is available at that link. All right, so let's get started here. Make sure I am online, in fact. There we go.
Oh, probably around that amount of time, Todd. All right, let's see here. Get these back up. So let's take a look at our recent changes today. That's a, a normal DDO Wiki talk thing to start with. In the last week, it's been, ooh, it's been busy. Um, we did a whole bunch of monster stuff. Adding new monsters, even if it's just a simple monster with a habitat. Well, yesterday was my birthday, so I'm waking up a little slow this morning. Oh, that's right. I need to pop that I'm live now. All right, let me reload this again. Up here in the corner, it says I'm offline. I am now online, live on Twitch. So that little toggle right there that we worked on last week, we'll actually put a notice up here and um, let people know that are browsing DDO Wiki that we are live. All right, so let's see here, where were we? Thank you, Blood Dagger. I am now less than a year away from being 40. All right, so this right here actually reminded me to toggle myself. Uh, this, uh, enhanced crew. Uh, I guess some discussion. I like to look at the discussion pages. Silver weapons. User rights log. Fault out. They've been doing some quest updates. Just hit two years on the 5th. 25 more and I'll be your age. Yeah, but all the cool thing ha cool things happen over 60. Slave Master's bust, item list truncated, template talk quest. What else we got going on here? I've been going through adding my, some of my videos to some of the, the challenges, the, the quests pages. Um, I got a few more to add, and I want to make some new ones. I want to redo them um, as solo runs. Two years from 40. There you go. Some spam block going on there. Mad Tea Party. Just a drop notice. Silver threaded belt. page about a, a, <coughs> a template I didn't understand a little bit more work not a lot of update 37 stuff I'm looking forward to seeing some of that since I don't have access to the content until it um, is available for DDO points category talk to game bugs uh, minor coding change there possibly I got to look into that one Antique bronze token. That's about. I haven't looked at anything from yesterday yet. That one. Look 
at that. Template talk quest we already have. And you can see that they are now live on DDO stream by clicking that button. All right, so let's take a look here. What do we got? Let's start at the end here. Fourteen to seventeen. Seventeen, eighteen. Here we go. Bind status conflicts with tips. Bind status is set to BTA, while tips claim you can sell them on the auction house, Astral Shard auction house. Both cannot be correct. Both. Uh, I've never seen one drop unbound from a chest. But if that is possible, and if it is not possible to set bind type to more than one value, then there should be a qualifier added to the tips paragraph that only unbound can be placed. Both are correct, but for pedifs from different sources. If trading in a tome at Crafting Hall, yes, they are bound to account, but they also drop from collectible nodes and are unbound. Which is probably why you've never seen one drop from a chest. Have you seen bound ones drop from a chest? Neither have I, but I've got dozens, all sizes. I think your suggested qualifier is stating the obvious, but I guess it can't hurt. Um, I have seen Everon Dragon Shard fragments come in chests. It's even more rare than collectibles. Um, Don't know that I've seen one from Breakables. Yeah, I, I've seen them from droppables and collectibles, but never from breakables. But okay, I don't. I suppose nothing is impossible. I think it's been taken care of already. Looks resolved to me. So, uh, legendary memory of fine regalia, spell lore ten, exceptional. It's like plus three, or plus eight exceptional bonus. Exceptional spell or plus 10. It says plus 3. What is this drop? Death House, so it's in the new content, so I don't have access to it. Marcus Patrolled. We're going to undo it. Looks like... Plus three in the screenshot. Please confirm that it is plus ten or submit a new screenshot. Thanks. All right.
That one's reverted. Antiques bronze token. Looks like they're somebody. Looks like Nim's doing a. Index of what he's getting for turning them in. ML for exceptional accessories is listed as unverified. I just turned two of them and received an ML 13 old loot and an ML 14 new random loot item 2016. 2017. More turn ins for exceptional jewelry, ML 11, clever. Yeah. I don't know what the goal is of that discussion. ML 11 to 14, is that what they want to see updated? Oh, they're working on updating that. Okay. I got a whole ton of those somewhere. I usually, those are one of the collectibles I usually throw away because there's just too many of them. But okay. So I asked, what was the purpose of this template for O braces? There's initially two curly braces. When that didn't work for what I wanted, it became a test. Delete it if you want, or I can keep it for further testing. Sure, tag it with instant delete, and a minute will take care of it. You can get curly braces with um, template parentheses, open parentheses, and template close parentheses. Let's see here. That's been tagged for deletion. We can take care of that today. Um, let me bring up a new tab. Drag that over here. Let's take care of that right now. Let's delete something. Yeah. Woot. All right. So let's see here. Let's add a new source. Let's type screen capture. Drag this down over So many layers. There we go. Move it down a little bit. There we go. Can be deleted. Blow it up a little bit so you can see it. Uh, delete page. Author request. Eat. Discussion. Eat page. Talk page of a recent deleted page. Delete. Boom. Done. Excellent. All right. Now if we reload this page. Deleted. Discussion is a red link. Excellent. Next page. Template talk quest. I think the first one was a quest failure. 
since we got the failure parameter, now we need more of them. Weapon shipment has two failure cases. Okay, we can we can talk about that one. Optional XP. So they want more failure cases. They want let's see here, that one's not there. Bestower. So it was just the request failure. <clears throat> Weapon shipment has two failure cases. Let's take a look at that. I only see one failure case there. No longer need to protect her. I thought that was the case. All right, let's start by Adding some spacing here, just because it's a pet peeve of mine. Like things aligned, I don't know why. Okay, so objective one. Optional XP one, not what it's called. Let me go to the template because I don't remember what I named it. Template quest, we'll open that up. I don't remember what I named the failure parameter either. So it's opt percent. That. Uh, 
abelia parameter like this. Monsters can go away. Go up here, the discussion page, section, paste this in here. Cut that from there, paste it in there, show preview. Not an edit box. We've got some spaces here. Let's paste them in as a block. Update that. All right. Yeah, I can see what they were talking about. That might be what we work on today once we finish going through with the rest of the talk pages. Still got this to go through, so what do we got here? We got three names. Salt Portal, Gorgothor, and Travix. So 
Port of Gogo Thorn Travix. And they all have pictures and CR information and type and race. And then we got one, two, three tieflings. We only got one of those here. We only got infantrymen there. So we need spell throwers and bowmen. We got a succubus, orthons, succubus, orthons, greater bazookas, two bar 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 zoo. What about the garrison hellhounds? I don't see them. All right, we need the garrison hellhounds as well. Oh, and Bezrikas only show up on Elite. Hey, fudge away. Welcome to the show, Sumta. Let's add you to the giveaway list here. So we're at 6 out of 10 for the 500 DP giveaway. If we hit 10, we'll do 500 DDO points. If we hit 25, we'll do a starter pack. If we hit 45, no, 40, if we hit 40, we'll do a starter pack and a 500 DDO point code. And if we hit 50, we'll do a starter pack and two 500 DDO point codes. All right, so that's all of those. Let's edit, edit. Edit. Let's get these back in here. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Habitat 2. Hey, got to get in here. All right, so we got Eric. Good morning, Eric. Let's add you to the list here. Gives us number seven. And we have a weapon shipment. Habitat three. Habitat three. <clears throat> Excellent. Some coding on that in a little bit. Those are all there now. I no longer keep, need to keep that open. Refresh it. There they are. Wasn't one of them only on only on Elite or something? So we can go back and we can find that. Let's see here. Check hard. So it wasn't confirmed that it was Elite only. But we'll add it anyways to the Greater Bezkira page. Yeah, it says Elite only, but it also says Maybe Hard. We'll go to the page, edit. Oh, it says Elite only there too. So it's already in there. All right. Excellent. Do that after. Let's see here. So 
item types are being truncated. Not all items, but at least large shield and tower shield, losing the shield type, but not all two word types are being truncated. Longsword seems to be displaying just fine. Can you give me a link to an example? Most things. Uh, small shield, war shield. Type column, it says small rather than small shield. Oath of Vengeance. That seems to be working as designed. If you look at the source, you'll see type small and type large, respectively. So it's not being truncated, it's just not working as you expect it to. I will look into changing it. Done, you'll just have to wait for the DPL tables to purge through the caches. Um, hopefully that will take care of it, and thanks. I just noticed that orbs can show up as orb shield for some reason. Don't know if that's an associated issue, a new one, or an unintended consequence. Type is set to just orb. Unintended consequence has been fixed. Excellent. Item talk. Slave master's bust. I think we went over this last week, guessing, but it's an in-game naming bug related to polarization, like the other one. No legendary showing in stack either, so I don't know where it came from. We'll have to figure that out. Until I have access to the content to be able to get it, I can't really look into it more. Rare scroll wand potion, new template for rare, rare scrolls, perhaps modification to the existing one. Big ugly when used for a rare scroll. Scroll with a gray and a easy format to purchase. A script. It falls a bit short when pressed into service for a rare drop. Done, just use type rare, or type is arcane, artificer, or divine. Um, basically we need to know where the legend, word legendary came from on the Slave Master's Bust. Is it running at different, different difficulty levels? Is it stacked, unstacked? Is it, where do you make, how do you make the word legendary show up? See, it says legendary here. So where do you make that legendary show up? Because apparently everybody else seems to say slave only. I do. I actually guess I do have against the slave lords. I just don't run it enough. Oh, see, it says here in the bug, single is called slave masters, and multiple figurines are called number of slave master busts. I don't know when that was added or by who. It might have been by me, unconfirmed. Although this is a single here, so I don't know if it's a multiple plur plurification thing or what it is. But... Talk guild airships. History 2014, 2014. Do all immunity drop these drop rare and deploy? Started a list here. No dates. People aren't using dates on their posts. It's hard to keep track. Well, let's take and let's see if we can add some from the stream here. Oh, that looks horrible. Hello, Cracknut.
Good morning, Artie Dragon. I want to add a little bit more details to this. Let's see here. Amenities. Banquet hall. Astral shard. Kenneth crafting hall. Astral Shards, Danger Room, Astral Shards, Star Shifter Chambers, Shards, Hidden Library, Astral, oh so they should be all Astral Shards. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, banquet hall, yes, yes, yes. Far shifter chambers. I haven't seen I haven't seen any of the larges. I've seen Craneth Crafting. Never seen deeds for the staterooms. Oh, right, we got some names to add here. We got Cracknot and Party Dragon. It gets us almost to our, our, our 10 level. One more, we'll hit 10. Lurking is working. Good morning, Dr. Mani. You make number 10. Surprise you're not on the DDO stream team yet. Fifteen more and we'll be up to the starter pack level.
Uh, let's format this a little bit easier to leave, to read. There we go. Don't we have a template for this? J. X, maybe? And actually, instead of a table, I'd rather do it as a bullet list. Let's do that. I think a bullet list, list would look better. All right, let's update all the yeses with this. I'll have to look into that. And all the nose with this. Reroll. I think this will be easier to read. What is the starter pack? Good question. Starter pack is a combo pack that you can get from the um, DDO market that includes the Catacombs Adventure Pack, a Fiendish Scorpion Cosmetic Pet, a Permanent Cleric Hireling, very useful. Um, Ellery Thistledown. She has cure wounds, remove paralysis, um, and I don't remember the third one, but the fourth one is Divine Vitality. She actually does have DV1, so she can recharge your mana if you're a spellcaster. And because she's a gold seal, you can use her, charge yourself up. Um, if there's a shrine by make by make her shrine, charge yourself up a little bit more, dismiss her, go do some more stuff. By the time you get back to the shrine, or by the time the shrine is recharged, or in five minutes, anywhere in the quest, you can resummon her and do it all over again. So, five excellent experience elixirs, which is a plus 30% bonus for three hours, um, and 250 DDO points. Oh, Command is the other one. And we haven't added four. Yes, we did. Way up at the top. OK. It would have yelled at me, saying, you already have that person. All right. And actually, I think I want to update this a little bit more. Man DV, Hillary Thistledown. Let's actually edit this page.
Let's grab her list of, of spells from here. Go to the hirelings page. There's got to be a gold seal section here somewhere, right? Contracts. I don't know why those broke. Oh, BMP. Okay, so I'll have to edit that too. Really? We don't have anything on gold seal? Types and classes, okay. Here we go, gold seal hirelings. Video store hirelings. Actually, this should be a dab. And yes, there is a page that lists all the hirelings and ability stats. It's actually a project I was working on and never finished. So it's in an incomplete state, but it does exist. Save page. Save page. word it like that. There we go. Save that. So what do we have here? Entities dock. 14 point. I have no idea what that is, but okay. These color, size, class, ID, URL. What's URL? Huh. 
no idea what entities is either. Oh. Dash dash for that. Okay. Yeah, there's our starter pack. Back to that. I actually don't have anything for that, but it's not going to be an issue for that either. So let's do this. Let's take the J from this one, chop it out of here, put it in here, and see how that looks. There you go. Actually, I think I want to change it again. I want to put this in the front for consistency. Because I think that'll make it even easier to read. There, even easier to read. Nice, clean list. Let's get rid of the bullets and make it even easier. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, what if we break it into a different list? Div, div, call, end. Div, call, three columns. What does that look like? Oh, even easier.
All right. List of hirelings. List of hirelings. We got one somewhere on the wiki. List of hirelings with repairs. List of hirelings. There we go. I just didn't. I had a lowercase h. Okay, so. One of the projects I was working on was rebuilding the individual hireling pages to populate this as a DPL structure. Um, still a work in progress because I wanted to add a certain level of detail but they are all here on the list of hirelings pages. And you can sort by by class, sort by class, then level. Um, if you want to find a level 14 cleric, you've got two choices, Belleth and Tempes. Um, one's a dwarf, one's a male human. Um, Comet Fall, Resurrection, Cure Serious, Mass, and Heal. Death Ward, Resurrection, Heal, and DV3, 25 charges. Um, level 3 Clerics, there's Erethin and Ellery. DV1, hmm, no number of charges there, I'll have to update that. But you can get it for flat, astral shards, or TP for all of them. So, 22 and a half platinum, four astral shards, or 30 TP. You can get it in the harbor or G. I don't know what G is. G is guild contracts. can also get it in the market. You have a list of hirelings pages. Good morning, Migo. Migo Tech 2, number 11. Awesome. 14 to go, and we'll do a, a starter pack giveaway. All right, so there's a list of hirelings. What else did we want to talk about today? We're going to work on that, weren't we? All right, let's do that. Oh. Okay. New source. Copy the URL, bring it up in my personal. All right, what do we got here? We got failure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that just like that, 
but I'm going to add an, an well, it's nine o'clock, so actually let's take our, um, our intermission, our quick intermission to refill our coffee cups and take a bio break and whatnot. Let's do that, bring up the splash screen. Excellent. I've also been um, trying to expand my um, YouTube channel with all the archives of these DDO Wiki talk shows and my shoe cobble series and whatnot. So if you haven't already, please pop on over to um, youtube.com slash user slash capital L zero capital R E D capital D R A G O N and um, give me a subscribe and like some videos. I'll post a link in just a second to that for everybody. Once I finish filling this coffee up here. Subscriptions on YouTube are free.
Coffee refilled. Absolutely. Coffee is now fully refilled. All right, so we got gummy bears here. Let's add gummy bears. See you. Twenty-five. Save. All right, up to number twelve. So, if you want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a link to that right there. I might take down the splash screen so you can see those. That would be awesome. All right, let's see here. So what I was gonna do here is, I was gonna copy this. do in if equals io one this And it's going to be, good morning, Matt. And what was the parameter I said it was going to be? Put over the discussion here. I don't need to be on that page for that. Quest failure. I said it was going to be objective failure number. So it's going to be if equals IO, one, two, three, Pipe, zero, we're going to assume it's false. Objective failure. Bar. Object index. Okay. Show changes. It's the only change. Okay, let's take a look and see how that looks. Save page. Nothing there. Looks good. Let's head over to the weapon shipment. Open that page up. Edit. Let's do an actual test here. Have I added Matt to the list here yet? No. M A T T Van Car. That gets us up to number 13 out of out of 25, the 25 goal. Actually, let's go like this. Let's um now that we've saved it, let's reset load episode 90 open. We're going to make it 25 attendees. So we're at 13 of 25. Good morning. T S U U N A D O. Sunado. There we go. That's one of. Ooh, Mr. Champy, I missed you. So actually, let's remove Sunado for a minute. Put Mr. Champy in there. And then put Sunado back. Excellent. Anybody else I've missed? All right, 20, 15 of 25 tier. This is for the starter pack giveaway. If we can hit 25, we'll do the starter pack. So one of the cool features that I implemented is that if I save the list, right, I can reset it 
reload the list, and then I can change the prize or the number of attendees needed. And that will update the numbers here, but keep the list the same as it was before I reset it. Well, it's a pretty cool feature I thought I, I thought of it. Let's scroll down to edit box here. Okay, so let's change this to objective. Number three. Did I misspell it? I will fix it in just a second. Object. Failure. Three. True. Excellent. All right, let's go back and fix this here. Oh, I transposed those two letters. So T S U U N A D O. There you go. Let's remove the inaccurate spelling. Resave it. All good or better. Excellent. Now, the only thing I have left to do here is Eliminate the failure, put in the object failure up there. Move this up here. Add a little note to this. It's going to be object failure. Excellent. The only thing I have left here is All right. Shrink this back down. Reload this. Done. Diff. Now, I probably shouldn't have been um, directly editing that template. 
I should have made the change in the sandbox first. But it's done. Hey, thank you for the, the follow, Matt. Hey, Mr. Shampy, thank you for the follow. Is the ability strength broken on pets? Oh, I got two follows there, and one of them didn't announce by was Wisebot. Huh. Um, is strength broken on pets? My artifact pet is not getting strength plus to hit or damage. I know they used to. Can tell. Look at the color inventory, then look at it on the pet. Okay. So, are you saying the strength on your collar? Because I know that if you craft a collar in Kenneth Crafting, and or if you craft hand wraps and convert it to a, a collar, it won't work at all. That's completely bugged, and they have no intention of fixing it anytime soon. I mean, it's on their list of things that they know they need to fix, but it's like way down at the bottom. Because I've been complaining about it for over a year now. You weren't following, Todd? Shame on you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good morning, Ve Vigazin. Add you to live away. G E A Z N. Number 16 out of 25. We might actually get to a starter pack today. That would be awesome. We'll need to populate that page with something. I miss making lives, and DDO Lives too can only do vodcasts, but no problem. I like to support good DDO community or streamers. There you go. I'm actually hoping to bring back the um, Shoe Cobble series before too much longer. Um, I start classes next week, and then within a few weeks of that, I should have a, a, a better understanding of what my schedule is going to be, and I'm hoping to start a new new show for that. So... That should be exciting. One of the callers is a legendary hound of the night. What classes? Um, I don't remember. Um, I think one is advanced Java and the other one is... Um, project management or something like that. No. Why would I remember such a thing? Just classes I gotta get done. All right, so template quest. I wanna purge through that or not. Eh, they'll purge through on their own.
Oh, update 37 named items. We'll take a look at that real quick. Vault Out has been working on a sandbox. Item Legendary Hound of the Night. Let's take a look at that. So there's no strength on that. That's one of the new items. Eighty four to damage, that's the base damage rating. Doesn't mean it adds eighty four to damage. Damage is between forty to sixty five. which is 5, 1d6, plus 4, plus 15. Okay. So if your pet strength is 80, minus 10 is 70, Divided by 2 is 35 damage from strength. Because it goes by your mod. Not by your strength. Right? So you should be getting 75 to 100 base damage, including your, your your strength bonus. And then on your crits, you should be getting 235 to 360, plus whatever additional bonus is down here. Alright, let's see here. External links. There you go. Ravenloft expansion preview. Cool. Oh. Hmm. So that's something we can update, actually. Now that I think about it. It hasn't been done yet. what they're doing there but okay sandboxing something probably the monster thing when it's on the pet I don't know you'll have to show some screenshots or something for me to understand personally I have no classes uh, leave study this year, but have a bad connection. AA, my current play, well, living place. But I'll pretty excited to venture again in live. My personal schedule is in afternoon GMT plus one for playing. Cool. All right, so 
top of the page here is named items by update. Can I edit that? No, it's protected. All right, so what I'll have to do is copy this, go here, change page to edit because I'm lazy, and I'll bring it right up in one shot. Okay, so. Let's copy this. And 37 is Ravenloft. Boom. Added Ravenloft there. Excellent. So now when we reload this, boom, added the Ravenloft. Beforehand, if you're not already, feel free to pop into my Discord server and, um, Post some screenshots, and we can figure it out. All right, so we got that updated. Languishing the release of Ravenloft in the store. It will be available in the DDO store probably with update 38. That would be my guess. So we got template talk quest is done. Recent changes, let's take a look at that. Special pages, let's take a look at that. Upload that, Up, update that as well. Okay, excellent. Welcome back. Boom, done.
There we go. Good morning, Hikaru. Let's add you to the giveaway list here. H I K K A A R U. Number 17 of 25. Eight more people, and we will have a giveaway. Alrighty. Recent changes. Excellent. Let's take a look at what's here. We got one forty eight wanted categories. Maybe we should work on that for the last twenty minutes. Good morning, Crex. Good morning, Confiling. There you go. Let's add you both to the giveaway here. C R E X is Pen Dragons and Con F I L L I N G. Nineteen of twenty-five. We get six more people. We'll do the 500, um, the starter pack. Otherwise, I will just roll it for 500 EDO points. All right, so recent changes. Good morning. Two more. Excellent. We're getting so close to a starter pack giveaway. M, J, D, M, H, D, 18. Add, C-A-L-U-U-M-M, -M. add, there's 21 out of 25. We need four more people to pop in this morning. We got 19 minutes, technically, to do it in. All right, one of categories. Let's do the easy ones. Void lore, ice lore, 202, 104. These will suck up whatever time is left, I am sure. Vampirism 1. That must be something new. I'll have to look into that separately. This is Monster and Quest. That's easy. Start with that one. Monsters in Quest. Simple. Boom. Show preview. There it is. Nice clean table. Collapsible. Boom. Excellent. All right. So this one is copy. Boom, drag, and put a zero in front of it. 
category. Enhanced nullification. It's magnetism. Category. Category. It's magnetism. Pipe. That over, copy, category, paste, select all, linked category, go. Next one, enhance glaciation, pipe, drag, zero, copy, C. Save Glaciation Tool Two Copy Category Paste Select All Category and that Motion, pipe, drag, zero, copy. Good morning, Samius. How's it going this morning? Category, base select, category, unselect. I haven't seen Titan this morning either. Samus Garobo, moderator add, save. There you go. Two, copy, category. Category, say, erosion, zero, oxygen not included. Make sure you get your coffee at least. Samius is now playing Oxygen Not Included. Go figure. Question. Type. Zero. Copy category, category, save, motion 104, huh? Motion 202.
Ice Lore 11. And one more, Void Lore 11. Excellent. Void Lore items exist, Ice Lore exists, Enhanced Combustion. Insightful Devotion exists. Enhanced Combustion, we got to make that in the other one. Enhanced Corrosion, that one we got to do already. Devotion, Devotion. Glaciation, Glaciation. Magnetism, Magnetism. Nullification, Nullification. All right, so let's create each one of those. Category, category, save. Category, category, save. Getting too quick at this. Only took us about 10 minutes. Clean up those ones. Right. Question. Erosion. Devotion. Glaciation. Magnetism. Nullification. Okay, so we should go from 48 down quite a bit. Let's reload this page. Down to 32. We took 16 off the list. Excellent. I'm going to open this one twice. Let's take a look at this one real quick on one of them. Clicky items. One thing is I want to do named items. Category, and I want this to be a no include. I'm going to put this here as well. Excellent. Boom, done. Any other clicky items? No. Okay, um, let's see here. Vampirism 1. Let's take a look at those items.
Minimum healing of one. Okay, so what else do we have? Subrace monsters. Indish Cobalt. Whatever the parent category should be. So reptilian type monsters and cobalt race monsters, maybe. to me. Probably need to update these a little bit. I would share your learning of the basics of the game with a new game. All right, let me get you the link here for the bug reports. I believe that's the correct link for the bug reporting system. There you go. You can even refine it by report a bug. And that's specific for bug reporting. There you go. Excellent. Let's reload this. Down to 29. Reward items, reward items, reward items. Loot. All right, so let's...
Let's go with the pit loot. Yes. Roll down. Copy. That's pit loot. So for, for loot, we go like this. We go... Knight. Rebels. Knight. Rebels. Those shouldn't be loot, they should be reward items, right? Yeah, they shouldn't be loot. I don't know, abort on that one. Um, what quest has reward items? What area? Um, None there. Nope, none there. Let's find something with reward items. I'm gonna edit this, edit it this. Not chest. Ward. Turn in, rather. Turn in, but I don't remember how to punctuate it. Is it turn dash in? Turn space in, okay. Turn in. That puts it in reward items, right? Yes, and there's our reward items. Excellent. Turn in item Book of Night twenty and oh, so it's an upgrade. Oh, they still use the old Maybar. So those all need to be updated.
Because that's a historic thing there. Upgrade. Or Cloak of Night 24. It's 200 chocolates. Uh, almonds and apples. 100 chocolates, 100 almonds, 60 apples. <clears throat> oh, this is 24 to 28. A, a Night Rebels recipe template. Ooh, ten oh five. So we're a little bit past our our allotted time. We will do our drawing in just a minute. Looks like we didn't quite hit 25 for a starter pack, but we did, we did hit the 10 chatters for 500 DDO points. Night Rebels recipe. Okay, that's the one I want right there. One hundred chocolates. Two hundred and fifty chocolates. Hundred and twenty almonds, one hundred apples. good. I might switch it. Actually, I think I will switch it. I'll put the, the, the chocolate stuff first and then this at the end. Like that.
Actually, I changed my mind. This at the end. And. How does that look? Put the and on the new line. Behind a tab. That looks much better. I think I'm going to copy that for the other ones as well. All right, so it's 10-10. Done with that. We're done with that. Special event loot items loot. Ooh. Board items. Three more people. We only need three more people to pop in for a starter pack. All right, I'll give it a, another couple minutes. Let's clear this, bring up category, search. Salvation of Corthos, stopping the Suwagin. There we go. That should be a good one. Edit, scroll down, named items category, quest rewards. Perfect. That's what I wanted. There we go. Oh. I need to fix those. Blue water in. Curse of Strahd. Raven Queen Messenger. Excellent. Fixed. 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 Down to 25. Excellent. Making some progress here. Alrighty.
If you're in chat, make sure you say hi real quick. We only need three more people to say hi to upgrade our, our giveaway for the, today. Oh, I suppose I should get rid of that key. I'll toggle that offline because it takes a while for it to cash out. Alrighty, I guess. <sighs> Resave it and set the prize. I'm ready, so I'm going to down it to 22. We'll call it close enough. Roll for winner, Sunato. I will send that out through the... Um, Through the, through the Twitch mail system today. Close that. Close that. Let's pop up the starter pack real quick. This is what you will be getting. Starter pack with the Catacombs Adventure Pack. A Fiendish Scorpion Cosmetic Pet. <clears throat> A Permanent Cleric Hireling um, Gold Seal Level 3 with Divine Vitality. Five excellent experience elixirs, 30% bonus for three hours. So it's a 30% bonus for 15 hours once you tack them all together. And 250 DDO points. Worth the cleric, indeed. Ellery is um, probably at the top of the list for um, Samus Garobo's favorite hireling in the game. Thank you all for watching. Oh, Drodden. Should have popped in and said hi a little bit earlier. I would have entered you as well. Anyways, have a great day, everybody.
And I will see you next week. And I will probably have an announcement about a change in schedule for DDO Wiki Talk next week. But we'll wait till then and see you then.